scholars are so proud of what they have learned to read, or either the language they have studied or the glyphs they have studied, um, that they want to show off just a bit. Mm -hmm. And that's an understandable human urge, but it doesn't yeah. help at all. If, if the goal is to demonstrate that we're talking about human beings here, folks, just like all other historians are, um, all scholars, well, I think just about all scholars these days would say, would give lip service to the idea that we're all human here. Um, but some are so interested in exaggerating cultural difference or focusing only on cultural differences, perhaps better put, um, or on emphasizing that they themselves have sort of passed through this, the screen of unknowability through their linguistic genius, um, that the works that are produced can end up, ironically, I think in most cases, the scholars would not want this, but they can end up exoticizing the people that they're writing about even more. <laughs>
Yeah. And I, I got a memo. This you'll the, the older folks in the audience will remember the days when there was no internet that was really used anyway, and things <laughs> information passed through memos. I got a memo about a special course in Nahuatl, the, the Aztec language, that was to be offered that summer. And I wanted to study it because I was working on a book on Malinche, the woman who translated Fernando Cortez, the indigenous woman. And so I I went, I wasn't, I knew she didn't write anything, and I didn't imagine this would introduce new sources, but I but I shouldn't be writing a book about this woman's head when I don't even know how to say good morning in her language. So I went for that reason. And then I discovered I could really do this. And I discovered there are sources not written by Malinche, but by plenty of other Nawas. Um, so I, I, at that point, I, I really, I was in my early 30s then, although I am sorry to say that that was more than 20 years ago now. So <laughs> it has been a long time, but, um, but I, I was a full adult when I started this. So it is doable. Mm -hmm. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.